Hello, Haruma Kun channel. Haruma Kun's father, a former Japanese anime editor, would like to share his impressions of Indian films. The movie this time is PK. Please watch until the end. After watching this video, please subscribe to the channel and give it a high rating. I would be very happy if you could comment again. PK is a thought-provoking and highly entertaining Indian film that explores various social, religious, and cultural aspects of Indian society. As a Japanese viewer, I was captivated by the movie's unique storytelling style, vibrant visuals, and powerful performances. In this review, I will delve into the film's themes, characters, and its impact on me, offering my perspective on this cinematic experience. One of the most prominent themes in PK is the exploration of religious beliefs and the idea of blind faith. The film does an exceptional job of depicting the complexities and contradictions within various religions. As a Japanese viewer, I found this exploration fascinating, as it shed light on the differences between Indian and Japanese religious practices and beliefs. In Japan, the dominant religions are Shintoism and Buddhism, both of which emphasize harmony with nature and personal spiritual growth. PK, on the other hand, examines how religious rituals, superstitions, and commercialization have come to overshadow the core teachings of different faiths in India. The film raises important questions about the role of religion in society and the need to critically analyze its practices. Amir Khan's portrayal of the titular character, PK, is nothing short of remarkable. PK's innocence and curiosity about human behavior, customs, and rituals are portrayed with remarkable authenticity. His character serves as a metaphorical representation of a foreigner in a complex and diverse society, providing an outsider's perspective on various cultural norms. Anushka Sharma's portrayal of Jargu, a journalist who aids PK in his journey, is equally compelling. Her character allows the audience to explore the clash between traditional beliefs and modern thinking. Jaggu's determination to question societal norms and expose corruption reflects a growing sentiment among today's youth, not just in India but worldwide. As a Japanese viewer, PK prompted me to reflect on the similarities and differences between Indian and Japanese societies. It highlighted the importance of cultural diversity, tolerance, and empathy in fostering a harmonious coexistence. The film's underlying message encourages viewers to question societal norms and beliefs, promoting a more critical and open-minded approach to life. PK's ability to tackle sensitive subjects with humor and sensitivity is commendable. It manages to provoke thought without being overly preachy or disrespectful to any specific religion. It serves as a reminder that cinema can be a powerful medium to challenge societal norms, stimulate dialogue, and foster greater understanding between cultures. PK is a cinematic gem that transcends cultural boundaries, resonating with audiences across the globe. From a Japanese perspective, the film offers valuable insights into Indian society, religious beliefs, and the need for critical thinking. Its thought-provoking themes, coupled with outstanding performances, Make PK a must-watch for anyone seeking an enlightening and entertaining cinematic experience. This time, I picked up PK. How was it? If you don't mind, please subscribe to the channel and give it a high rating. In the Harumakun channel, I am distributing videos of my children, Harumakun and Momochan's daily life in Japan and Japanese game commentary. Please watch those videos as well. Thank you for watching until the end. See you in the next video.